God wants you to have a better life. I believe as we choose, we can have a better life. The better life that God wants you to have is paid with miracles. This is the place for miracles. <laughs> yes, it is. God bless you for joining us today. I, I'm laughing because I'm giving praise to God. I just got this testimony from uh, a Janet up in Michigan, call for prayer for her 20 week old baby who had a hole in her heart. <laughs> and the granddaughter, uh, the granddaughter now has been to a specialist and since we prayed, now they cannot find any hole, no hole at all. And they are praising God and we are too. So many testimonies coming, I'll get to these in a little while. I have a tremendous announcement to make in just a few minutes. Uh, it, it's concerning Africa. It's concerning almost half of the French speaking African nations. I'll share that with you in just a few minutes time. So stay tuned right where you are. Jordan is coming to sing.
And Jesus said unto them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Oral Roberts Ministries, going into all the world and preaching the gospel by every means possible. With your prayers and support, we're getting the message out to a hurting world that Jesus' healing power is available for the whole man, spirit, soul, and body. We're sharing about the saving and healing ministry of Jesus, the work of the Holy Spirit, and about the biblical principle of seed faith. We're seeing the miracle power of God at work and so many lives changed. The remote, isolated Canadian Arctic region of Iqaluit once claimed the sad distinction of having one of the highest suicide rates in the world. But since joining hands with Pastor Stephen Carlton and Bill Prankard Ministries, things have changed. Youths and adults are encountering the love and power of our healing God, and they're being delivered from their suicidal thoughts and actions, and lives and families are being restored. Pastor Carlton is traveling across the territory, teaching local pastors and leaders how to use their Greater Works digital tablets from Oral Roberts Ministries, and how to equip people in their churches to live victorious lives. Because of your partnership, because of your donations, you are helping equip uh, pastors here in the Canadian Arctic and, uh, and, and stopping suicide. Your gifts and donations have also helped establish a Christian school in Niger, West Africa. Through a partnership with Via Abundante, we have over 700 students currently enrolled, 95% of which are non-Christian children. They're receiving an excellent education, and the love of God is being demonstrated. Ongoing expansion of the school is also underway. Your gifts are changing a generation in Niger. God gave Richard a vision for another part of the Greater Works Project, to gather together a group of men and women who are united in love and fellowship, to reach people, equip leaders, and demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit to pastors and leaders in underdeveloped nations, helping usher in the end time harvest of souls. Fulfilling the word of the Lord to Richard, he continues to teach and train pastors in a number of locations around the world, including Ghana, West Africa, where Richard taught on the principles of healing, the Holy Spirit, and seed faith. 350 Ghanaian pastors were ordained under the umbrella of Oral Roberts Ministries, and Greater Works digital tablets were given to each registered pastor. My special thanks go to Dr. Roberts and to the partners all over America and the world. We are so grateful. Thank you, we love you so much. Thank you! Thank you. God bless India, God bless India, God opens doors in India. With the help and support of the friends and partners of this healing ministry, Richard's team has already held four pastors conferences in India. We've distributed almost 4,000 free digital tablets filled with resources from ORM to rural pastors who don't have access to the internet. The pastors attending these teaching conferences are ordained for ministry under the umbrella of Oral Roberts Ministries. And already, over 200 brand new churches have been established there. Your faithful giving has also demonstrated the love of Christ through free training programs sponsored by Oral Roberts Ministries for single mothers and widowed women. 80% of the students in these sewing classes have lost their husbands, their means of support, and are in desperate need of income. After two to three months of free training, they now have the skills to find work in tailor and garment shops, and in some cases are able to work from home, stitching and repairing clothes. You've also provided food, clothing, and other necessities to area orphanages, mental health facilities, local and regional prisons, and a number of daycare centers have been set up for at-risk children. We are so humbled and thankful for all God has done and continues to do through the outreaches of ORM. He has indeed enlarged our tents and expanded our borders. And you, our friends and partners, have been right there beside us all the way with your prayers, your encouragement, and your giving. You are a part of every soul saved, every body healed, and every life restored and changed. I will praying for God so many times. I want to this 
So it is the gift of God for us given. So Oral Robert Ministries, I may I, I will so many times listening the uh, voice of uh, name of uh, Oral Robert Ministry, but today Oral Robert Ministries come to pass in our India in a Hyderabad. Many many thankful to you. Many many thankful to you, uh, Rich Robert and uh, team and brothers also. Thank you, thank you. May God bless you. Thank you. You are making a difference. Well, you see what's been going on uh, in our Greater Works Outreach, as you probably have heard me say before, several years ago, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and told me my crusade days are over and that I'm to focus now on pastors in underdeveloped nations teaching on healing the Holy Spirit and seed faith. You've seen the places that we've been up, at the, up in the Canadian Arctic in, uh, in English speaking Africa, as well as in India. And you've heard me say that I'm coming to a time now where I'm going to go to Cameroon. Well, um, we've organized a, a special pastors conference in the nation of Cameroon. And there are already as I'm speaking right now, there are already more than 3,300, 3,300 pastors from 14 African French speaking nations. Now, if you go with me to this map behind me, uh, you, you see a, a map of Africa and uh, uh, this is, um, these, are, these are the nations that are represented. There are pastors from these 14 nations, from, from Cameroon, from Ivory Coast, from Togo, from Benin, from the Central African Republic, from Chad, from Congo, Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Burkina Faso, Guinea, uh, Mali, Senegal, and Niger. That represents these, uh, these colors in the map. There are more than 300 million people in those, these 14 nations. Now there are 29 French speaking African nations on the entire continent. So on this trip, we're representing, we're representing almost one half of French speaking Africa, over 300 million in just these 14 nations. These pastors are coming from 14 nations. They say to me that nothing like this has ever been done before. And this is God's greater works plan, teaching on healing the Holy Spirit and seed faith. And in just a few weeks from now, we'll be heading over to Cameroon with our team and I'll be ministering to them. I'll be praying for them, ministering to them, teaching on healing Holy Spirit and seed faith. I'll be laying my hands on them. I'll be anointing them with oil, giving them a, a special certificate uh, for the three days and, and sending them back to their villages, to, their, to the deserts, the mountains, the, <laughs> the places where they live, where there is virtually no internet. And, and helping them in their ministries to grow in the Lord. This is what our Greater Works thing is all about. Now, I want to give you an opportunity today to help sponsor a pastor. It costs right at, give or take, $100 uh, to, to sponsor a pastor for the three-day conference. And uh, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to sponsor a pastor. Now, you may want to sponsor one pastor at $100, or you may want to sponsor two pastors at $200, or you may want to sponsor five pastors at $500, or you may want to sponsor 10 pastors at $1,000. And all you need to do to be a part of this Greater Works Outreach in these in these nations, to representing some 14 nations, French-speaking nations, this is call that toll-free number, 844 828 1412. That's 844-828-1412. And I'm, I'm praying that you will get, get under this with me in Jesus' name. Uh, it's a tremendous opportunity. I've been contacted by the prime minister there. Uh, it, it appears I'm going to go and meet the prime minister while I'm there. And they want me to meet a number of other government leaders and cabinet leaders while I'm there. And uh, they just rolled out the red carpet. And so I'm going in just a few weeks from now. Uh, the, the, the way has been paved. Now, we've had, to, we've had to postpone twice, but the postponement is over. It's, it's, it's okay now uh, to go into Cameroon again. And so thank you for your help. Pray about it and, and call that number, 844-828-1412 and say, I want to sponsor one pastor or two pastors or five or, or 10 or however many pastors you feel led of the Lord to sponsor. Oh, hallelujah. And of course, we'll be taking our cameras with us. I'll bring it all back to you and show you on the air uh, what, what happened in Cameroon in those 14 uh, nations. I praise God for that. All right. Uh, I, I was telling you about this testimony 
uh, of the, the little baby with the hole in the heart healed. And then I got this from Annette in Memphis, uh, praying for you. I ask you to pray for my daughter's blood pressure. And, uh, and thank you so much for your prayers. It's back to normal without any complications. Now, Annette, if God can do that for, for your daughter, then he can do that for anyone who's watching who has a blood pressure problem. In the authority of the name of Jesus, I speak now to your blood pressure. In Jesus' name, every part of your blood pressure come to normal. Regulate in the name of Jesus. There's a person that you've had some nerve damage in your left hand and in your fingers, and you're being healed right now. It has affected your, your two small fingers, uh, your baby, baby finger and your ring finger uh, on your left hand, and the nerve damage is being healed right now. If that's you, I want to know who you are. Contact me. Let me know who you are. Uh, Annette, thank you for that testimony. Uh, Elizabeth is in Montgomery, Alabama. She said, I've had migraine headaches, seemed like for 20 years, but when you prayed, God healed the migraine. Hallelujah. If you have been suffering with migraines, in the authority of Jesus' name, I rebuke it. I bind it now in the name of Jesus, and I send the word to you for that migraine to go and never bother you again in the name of Jesus. Uh, Marlene is up in Ontario in Canada and uh, says, thank you for your prayers, Richard. I am healed from the acid reflux since you prayed. All right, Marlene, uh, there are others I'm sure that are watching that have acid reflux problems in the name of Jesus, just like God healed Marlene. I'm sending the word to you. And I remind you, the Bible says in Matthew 18, verses 18 and 19, if two shall agree, doesn't take a half a dozen people, doesn't take a dozen people, doesn't take a hundred people, doesn't take a thousand people. If two, you and me, if two of us shall agree as concerning anything we ask, that includes acid reflux, of our Father, it shall be done in Jesus' name. So I pray, I rebuke the acid reflux in you. And let me know, let me know how the change is coming. This is from Sandra, who's in Kingston, Jamaica where I had a wonderful crusade back in the early 1980s. We filled the National Stadium. Oh, how I remember those days. I ask you to pray for my daughter who had a mass on her left ovary. You went to prayer, we went back to the doctor and it's gone. <laughs> it's completely gone and her ovaries are in perfect condition. Thank the Lord for his mercy, his healing and his grace. Oh, Sandra, my dear sisters, if you have been uh, diagnosed with what uh, Sandra's uh, daughter did with a, uh, uh, with a mass or anything like that, in the authority of the name of Jesus, I rebuke this right now, come out, just like it came out of her daughter's, come out in the name of Jesus. And I set my faith with you in Jesus' name. Now listen to this. This is a woman, I won't give her name. She's up in uh, a, a, a state in the Northwest, that's all I'll say. Dear Richard, I was sitting here feeling so depressed, so overwhelmed with life and the problems and hurts that I have. Now that, that statement right there represents a lot of people. I received your letter. I had let Satan begin to make me think I had no future and I had no reason to carry on. Now that's the way many people feel today. But, you know, the word but is a contraction. It cancels out everything you said before. But when I read your letter, I marveled at the faith you have in God and it made me hopeful. And listen to this, I released the hold I had on fear. I released the hold I had on fear. Father, in the name of Jesus, for anyone who's feeling depressed, overwhelmed with problems, uh, you feel like Satan is telling you there's no future, in the name of Jesus, I join you in releasing fear, releasing the hold you have on fear. Let it go. Fear is not of God. Fear is of the devil. 
Uh, the Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but instead has given us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. And how I thank God for that. I release you in the name of Jesus, and I send the Word of God to you. I pray right now for healing in every area of your life, no matter what it is. What it is. If, it's, if it's fear, if it's doubt, if it's worry, if it's anxiety, if it's uh, cancer, if it's in your, your legs or your feet or your back, if it's in your, your colon, if it's in your heart or your, or your blood pressure or blood sugar, or if it's in your vision or your hearing, wherever it is, in the authority of Jesus' mighty name, I rebuke this. And I pray for healing, and I'm not coming out of this agreement in the authority of Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I feel the, God, the, the Spirit of the Lord today, and I'm so glad. God, yeah, give the Lord praise today. Hallelujah. It's healing day on the place for miracles. <laughs> I'm so glad you tuned in today. Lindsay's going to join me in just a few minutes' time. But right now, here's a very special message just for you. Do you know how much Jesus truly wants to heal you? He wants to make you whole in every way, in your body, in your soul and spirit. In his book, He's a Healing Jesus, Richard Roberts shares with you the ways and words of Jesus. Jesus is your healer and he cares about you. You will begin to see yourself in the light as he sees you. His power to set you free and make you whole again is available today since he is the same and doesn't change. To request Richard's book, He's a Healing Jesus, just go to oralroberts.com slash bookstore or call 1-844-828-1412. Lindsay, as you can tell, I am so excited today about what God is opening for me to do. This is, this is the revelation, the actual happening of what God spoke to me when he said, your crusade days are over. Now I'm sending you to the underdeveloped nation's pastors to teach them on healing Holy Spirit and seed faith. I, I, I feel like I'm right in the middle of my call. Now, why are you smiling? You know, when he's excited like this, it's very hard to get a word in edgewise. And technically, it's usually the other way around. <laughs> so, I know what it feels like. <laughs> how, 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 oh, so now you know. No, I know. Now I know. <laughs> the truth is, he is excited. And you can always tell when he's excited like this because it has to do with the crusade or it has to do with going and ministering, healing to people, and, and believing, praying for the sick, believing for God to operate in miracle signs and wonders. And it really is exciting when you see someone that comes in one way and leaves another, and yes. that way is through the blessing and the power of God. How can that not be exciting? Well, Lindsay, you're talking about pastors who will affect thousands of people in their areas. 3,300 pastors coming from 14 French speaking nations and then going back and you see on the map all the, all mm -hmm. the areas where they come from. More than, we just found out this morning there are more than 300 million people that live in those nations, those 14 see, nations. isn't that exciting? Now, to be perfectly honest with you, um, I am not going to 300 million people. But what do you do? You break it down piece by piece. Everything is one step at a time. To get to a million, you have to count to one. You know, and so when you talk about that, what you've done is you've segmented it into countries, into nations. Those nations are segmented into pastors. Those pastors churches. are segmented into churches. Those churches are now segmented into where their community and their is and away they go. And it is very doable. If you look at the first number and you think millions of people, you think, okay, can I even do that? But but God gives you a plan. You may, you know, God may have called you to open 10 stores. And if he did, he may have given you a plan to start with 10 or to start with one or to start with a storefront or to build a big church and yet start in a shopping center or start in somebody's home. God always gives you a plan if you listen to the plan. And I believe that when God gives you a plan, he also has people that will help you facilitate the plan. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for those who have been a part of this greater works. And like I said, I'm not going to 3 million people. Now he's going to You're pastors. <laughs> yeah, he's going to pastors who will reach that many people. And and you know, and the miracle goes on to be honest with you and all of us have a part to play. Maybe your part is to sow seed. Maybe your part's to go. Maybe your part's to stay home and pray. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I was I was part of the development of the tablet. And I, and I, that, your, I loved no, it. No, 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 it was your original idea. Okay, so she it was said my to me, original you need a tablet. Idea. Oh, by the way, uh, I've translated- From the most non-techie person <laughs> I've translated on my the book, planet. I've translated one of my books into French. I'll be giving a book as well in the Praise French language. Praise the Lord. You didn't know I could speak French. You know? Oh, very good. <laughs> I do in the book anyway. Praise the Lord. I used to speak French. I used to do a lot of things. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I, Lindsay is my number one intercessor. And I thank God she'll be staying home, but I know she'll be praying. She'll be on her face for, before God, before me. And here's your opportunity to be involved, not only to pray, but to sponsor a pastor. It costs about $100, roughly, to, to sponsor a pastor for these, this three-day event. You may want to sponsor one pastor or two or five or maybe 10 at $1,000. Just call that number, 844-828-1412. That's 844-828-1412 and say, I want to be a part of this Greater Works Outreach. Lindsay, we have a moment before our program closes today, but let's have a time of healing prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for people who are listening to the sound of my voice. Yes. And Father God, it has nothing to do with my voice, only that it's a connection to you. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, we declare, we decree, we pray for healing and wholeness according to your word, according to your will. I pray as people understand who they are in Christ Jesus and what Jesus did already, already on the cross, that we have a Bible right to appropriate healing, financial healing, emotional healing, physical healing, healing in your mind, your will, your emotions, healing in your soul realm, healing in your business, healing in every aspect that concerns your life. I pray for God to minister healing to you today. In fact, I pray for it to begin right now. I love the Bible when it says, now this, now faith is, now I love that word. And I pray for God to begin to minister healing to you right now in Jesus name, amen. Now that's a right now healing prayer. And I like that, Lindsay. That's a right now healing prayer for you. So release your faith and believe God with us as we set our faith with you. One can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. So look what we can do together in faith in the name of Jesus. If you have a, a further prayer need, you can always call the Abundant Life Prayer Group uh, or you can write me, Richard Roberts. All the information is on your screen. And by the way, when you support this ministry, be sure to ask for your free copy of my, my book, He's a Healing Jesus. Lindsay, that picture right there was taken in uh, Ibadan, I I Ibadan, Nigeria. Nigeria. I crusaded yes, there was. some years ago. Yep. The little girl was deaf and God healed her. You can't see her face. I'm holding her so tight, you can't see her face. The little girl gave her heart to the Lord and uh, was healed of deafness. And I'm believing that these pastors in, in this conference are gonna take the healing power of God back to their churches, back to their villages, back to the places where they live. Mostly they're in areas where there is little or no internet. So thank you for your, your prayers and support, but be sure and get a copy of this book. It's free. When you support this ministry, I'll send it to you. God richly bless you. Once again, to sponsor a pastor, call that number 844. 828-1412 in Jesus. Name. In Jesus name. And you know, when we were in Africa, we learned a couple of sayings like now, now, just now, right now, and they all meant different, but now, now meant right this <laughs> second. So that's my prayer that God ministers to you right now, right this second, now, now in Jesus name. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>